And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? I loved the first and second question. It was exactly where I am, what I needed to hear. So things are so good for me right now. I can see that. <laughs> Tell your face. Right. I'm so grateful. Happy. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So I loved what you said that when you know the formula, you go from results to results to results to results. And what is the primary result? Satisfaction, pleasure, joy. That's such a key thing to know because that's how you know you're on track. Got it. Yes. So this past, since last November, when I saw you in Asheville, I have been continually more in the receptive mode and I get it. I can feel it in the, my body and I am more in step five, step four, step five, step four. The question I have is, and it's more of a, you're going to help me answer the question before I can formulate it, but it is that everything is coming in. And I lived for 35 years in a place of, I was so far from the results. The gap was so vast. You don't know that for sure. And it doesn't help to say that. Okay. Something that does help is that I was figuring it out as I was figuring it out. I was doing the best that I knew. And I might've been more in step one than I really wanted to be, but I created a wonderful vibrational reality. And so, so much that I am now benefiting from happened during that time. I'm appreciative of everything that I lived and what it accomplished. Can you feel how those thoughts are much more in harmony with the way your inner being looks at it? Your inner being feels no regret about anything you've ever lived. And when you do, you're off course. Yes. It's really an interesting thing. Your intention here was to talk about how good it is by talking about how bad it was. Right. That doesn't work. Yes. Because while you're talking about how bad it was, you're not letting how good it is in. Great. Yes. With the question piece is, I walked in. It's all right. But we're just saying what we were talking about earlier today is expectation. And so we're not trying to stifle anything that you're saying. We just want you all to be aware of when you're communicating or thinking or focusing from what expectation are you offering it and this is the question that we've been asking you lately you may have even heard it last time we were together is under what influence am I am I under the influence of source which is what meditation accomplishes or am I under the influence of things that went wrong or struggle that I lived and so in this moment while you're visiting with us we're just asking you under what influence are you as the words are formulating that you're giving to us. Are you under the influence of the problem or are you under the influence of the solution? And we get it. This is a place where we solve problems, but we can't solve problems by pointing them out. Okay. So starting again, I, from the place of the solution, it is so good. I don't have any plans. I don't, I have goals, but the, my plans are in the process of being realized by me. I know my plans have been made because I believe my vortex is real. And I know that my inner being knows the path of least resistance from where I am to where I'm going. So I know that those plans are all in place. I'm looking forward to on a pretty steady basis, being in the receptive mode where I can realize what those plans are. Can you feel the difference? because that's the way your inner being tells that story. You feel a little lost. Your inner being knows you're not. Your words were about not knowing where to go exactly. In other words, your words demonstrated a feeling of insecurity. Did you hear it? Yes. Insecurity. Well, you can't stand in a place of insecurity and be in the receptive mode. So if you're standing in a place of insecurity, take a nap because anything that you receive is under the wrong influence. Does that make sense? Think about it. When you're in a bad mood, which of your friends do you think of to call or which of them call you? What influence are you under? The law of attraction is always showing you what influence you're under. And so if you're under the influence of something other than source, you might want to 
take a nap or meditate or do some segment intending that gets out ahead of it too so we're happy to hear you so the piece is when you get better at this in my day I feel in the receptive mode I often, often often I feel real-time thoughts turning into yeah, things yeah often yesterday several examples do you see the shift that just happened in her yes. okay you went from insecurity to absolute confidence and it just was that much shift in focus great okay that makes sense so <laughs> I'm trying to save time here so other people can get here. well that's time shortage consciousness okay, that'll get right, you nowhere okay. <laughs> It's okay. also consideration. But the thing is, if you're considering what's going on with everybody else, sometimes you're not considering your path of least resistance. Consideration is a nice thing, but consider yourself, consider your alignment, consider putting yourself in the place where all of you is present and having a conversation. Be so considerate of yourself that you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and everybody who experiences you benefits from it. What if this segment answered so much that others are wanting for? Do you wish you had rushed through it? Or do you want the pleasure of being that? The pleasure of being that. Okay, so my hands are in the clay. Ding, ding. I feel it and I am curious about what happens in this place when you have that much confidence and yet you're not shooting rockets well you're not watching the movie you're trying to make the movie got it and all that's happening and we understand this you want some separation between step one and step three step one is you ask step two is source answers it's all lined up it's in the vibrational reality it's in the vortex step three is you chill you listen to the air conditioner you get out ahead of it you are as non-resistant as you can be much of the time then you get really good at that that's step four and then step five is you're mostly feeling good and sometimes you're exploring contrast but the contrast isn't resistant in nature because it's just another question Feel the difference between contrast, which is variety, and resistance, which is pushing against something. Feel the difference between contrast, which are choices, and resistance is talking about what you don't want rather than what you do want. Okay. So it's just this subtle place of just allowing in more pleasure. It's subtle until momentum parlays it into something not so subtle, like passion, or downright enthusiasm, or a grin on your face you can't get off it's not that subtle alignment is not that subtle you glow in the dark <laughs> alignment is passion and enthusiasm and moment to moment ideas coming it's question answer question answer question answer question answer it's things working out for you and most of all it's oh I love my life man did you see that happen you can call that subtle right I have that a lot in my life that is it's just that there was so much contrast before that I live more in that space now I just don't have big goals I mean I do but I don't have I don't know what the gigantic big step is and I usually live my life that's because there's no gigantic big step <laughs> it's just the next logical step and the next logical step and those words indicate and it's all right an impatience about getting from where you are to where you really want to be what that says is I really don't want to be over here I want to be over there show me the gigantic big step and meanwhile your inner being knows you can't take a gigantic big step that's a vibrational inaccuracy that would be devastating what you want is the next logical step the next logical step the next logical step but you want the next logical step for the fun of it not because it's taking you to where you want to be can you feel this difference yeah and so what we want you to do we're just going to ramble here for a little bit we want to we want to soothe and smooth some of the vibrational resistance that you've got going on a lot of people do so just hear this so we're going to speak from your perspective so I've lived a lot of life and some of it I've enjoyed more than other pieces of it and I'm really beginning to enjoy life more and more and more and understanding the way the laws of the universe works are really helping me but more important understanding what my emotions mean that's just the best the best the best because I'm sensitive and I can feel 
when I'm moving with no resistance and when I'm moving with resistance I can feel when I'm headed toward what I want that satisfying feeling and more and I can feel when I've sort of picked up an old practiced habit of thought I can feel that and more and more I'm catching it earlier and earlier I'm also understanding that waiting for the negative emotion to come and then wanting to overcome the thought feeling the negative emotion and then wanting to overcome the thought is tiresome and hard work and while I can do it there must be an easier way and I get the sense that the easier way is getting out ahead of it before the negative thought comes which means don't think so much and then try to correct my thought instead meditate bring myself to no thought and then begin listening to the thought or when I'm moving into a new segment just stop and think oh this is a new segment and then talk about how I want to feel as I'm moving into this new segment I want to feel fun I want to feel the harmony of the humanity of life I want to notice lovely things in other people it's so easy to just positively anticipate if you haven't been negatively anticipating just now so make it easy for yourself meditate early in the day segment intend as best you can and don't try so hard to make this about thinking let it be about receiving a thought now let's chew about this if a tree falls in the forest <laughs> and there's no one there to hear it did it make a sound no it didn't it didn't make a sound oh it made a vibration but there was no sound unless there was a mechanism an eardrum that could translate the vibration into something meaningful to the perceiver of the vibration you get how that is finally you've got the answer to that <laughs> also the chicken came first all right <laughs> so in the same way when you are not thinking thoughts that separate you to some extent from the powerful mind that is really you if you're not doing that thing you do then you're tuned in tapped in turned on and when you are tuned in tapped in turned on then those thoughts are flowing about everything that matters to you because you've lived life and you've let the universe know you've let your inner being know we all don't just know it we are standing in the vibrational equivalency of it we are experiencing the attraction of all the cooperative components in their vibrational form which is so satisfying to us but you are the one who's going to allow the vibrations to turn to things that you can then witness but if you need to see the things before you acknowledge the vibration then you don't get there because when you look for the things that aren't things yet then you get off on a wonky vibration that doesn't let you perceive the becoming of the things who and it's the becoming of the things that is so much fun you are a creator wanting to create you are also the creation but it is the experience of becoming that is what life is all about you're not ever going to get it done you're not ever going to say well I did it and now I'm done that's not ever going to be so once you begin letting what you're reaching for be the process of becoming rather than the thing that has become then everything starts to shift for you so now we'll put it into your words I like my feeling of becoming I like the data that comes I like feeling what influence I'm under I like deliberately and consciously using my guidance system I like knowing I'm tuned in and then I like the impulses that come I like following those impulses and watching them lead to something more and something more I love to get on the thread of pleasurable unfolding I adore watching the universe working things out for me I can say that better I adore being in the receiving mode of what the universe has already worked out for me oh I'm so happy to give over the responsibility of it becoming I realize I did that responsibility in step one I did my work don't want that must want that don't want that yeah I really want that don't want that prefer this prefer this prefer this I did that work that work's been done and others got in on it and now it's becoming and the same way I don't have to lie in bed at night and focus upon the reproduction of the cells in my body 